Welcome back. In this next piece, you may not see their faces, but you'll hear their words. They are the soldiers of Task Force Bulldog, interviewed during the final phase of Operation Bulldog Bite. There's a myth, I think, amongst us, amongst the coalition forces, amongst ISAF, and amongst the U.S. forces, uh, that there are some places that we can't go. Uh, that is absolutely and unequivocally untrue. We can go anywhere we want to go. We have the technology to support it, but most importantly, our infantrymen are stronger, tougher, more capable, better trained, and they have better equipment than the enemy does. Picture the rockiest, crappiest terrain you can think of at 7,500 feet with 70 pounds of taking you down the mountain. That's what it's like. Okay. Tell them we're going to search the house because we know there's some people that have been hiding things in houses, They've been using um, people's homes to store weapons and stuff. Our objective was to clear the village of all enemy and any uh, caches, weapons, explosive things of that nature uh, with the A and A. So we get and start clearing all the village. We had a plan to get there with my, my squad and the other squad in the platoon to leapfrog all the buildings, uh, go in, clear, get all the military age males for questioning, look for caches, mark the building as clear, keep moving. They obviously own the terrain here, it's their backyard, but it is good for us to get out and show them, that, like, look, we're not afraid to get up here and walk around and duke it out with you. Dude, what did you say to you? He says it's sergeant, sir. Bulldog Bite was designed to push back on the enemy, create a greater area of security so that more uh, opportunities for good governance and development could take place and more opportunities for the government to reach out to the people. That said, I, I give the enemy full credit. In a lot of cases, he's willing to stand and fight. Stand and fight and die, but stand and fight. I don't make any bones about it. I don't expect to defeat the insurgency in the Pesh River Valley. But what we've got to do is make sure that there is room to develop governance, a room to promote governance, room to promote development in the community for the large majority of the population that live here.